Okay, I'm just going to do a, a uh, now an overview of how you blend them together. And it's actually quite simple, but it requires a little bit of understanding of what's going on. So again, quickly, I will add a, a Fresnel tool. Uh, I'll leave that at 1.5. I will add a, let's see, material tools, um, a GGX, which can be our base specular and a sta standard Lambert. No, nope, that's the transmission one. So yeah, I get that mixed up all the time. And a layer tool. So layer materials. So put that in the top. The specular goes on top. That goes on bottom. I will make that. Again, I quite like this copper color. So that's a standard, slightly glossy, rough, diffuse material with a with a shiny coat over the top. It's exactly what we would expect. Now you're sort of thinking, how does the layering work? What is mixing the two values? Well, it's actually it's simply the Fresnel. So any Fresnel that you put in, what it's doing is anything that's remained there is what's in in the bottom. So if I was to show you in again the, the specular row. So that is your you know your, your white point there and it comes to grey in the middle. And if I look into your diffuse direct, you can see in the centre it's the brightest part and towards the edges it's darkening because it's doing the energy conserving trick so the brighter the re specular reflection the darker the limb and it's all handled by that and the layer tool it's very simple so you would sort of think well what type of things can I layer together well uh, let's have a go I could layer two metals or two speculars together so say I want, instead of a Lambert, I want a, 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 a car paint type effect. So again, I'll add another one of them. Add a, instead of a, a you know, a, a, that orange, I will add a, a metallic Fresnel or a conductor. So, oops, added that into the wrong type. Into the Fresnel, that goes into bottom. And of course there's no diffuse that's why it's gone blank and I'll change that from that dull gray to maybe we'll try that coppery orange again increase the roughness to quite a high value so what we have is two metal layers or rather two specular layers a metallic specular and a clear coat over the top so you're getting that very very bright hard shiny look while at the same time being a very rough diffuse specular underneath effectively that's a car paint shader I could add speckles but that just takes a little bit of time messing about there is a built-in car paint shader so it's a little bit redundant to do that if I have a look at your specular row here why is it specular row again we have the bright limb of the two speculars mixed together with an orange center but it's a little bit confused that of course because you have two speculars laid together so again I can with this thin uh, material here we can mix a number of things I could I tell you a really good um use for this is a architectural glass this is mixing up two different things which would normally go together so <clears throat> i'll add a specular btdf which is now going to make it almost invisible but it's got 1.5 i'll make that one and tint it ever so slightly towards greeny blue something like that perhaps I could add a tiny bit more so 
so slightly tinted iron green glass but there's no reflection so we'll add a GGX the RDF layer materials again put the specular on top that on the bottom it will of course be a hundred percent mirror so again we'll make that quite low five percent perhaps and a Fresnel which would be a dielectric and you have architectural glass which has a low gloss reflection and a slight tint perfect if you can't be bothered to model thickness as you can see how that's working between the two um, another way another thing that you could do is a, a rather attractive bubble shader of course so we can go in and add I'll get rid of all of this again um, so we'll make double sided we'll add a GGX BRDF and a specular BTDF because that's just simply going to be our medium for transparent just passing that through and we want the layer materials so that would go into the bottom that would go into the top and of course I'll have a plug that right in now it's going to be a rough mirror we want of course a bubble would be very low roughness so maybe five percent and we want to multiply the two Fresnels together which I showed earlier so we want a dielectric and an iridescent plug those two together plug that into the object Fresnel and of course start to vary the iridescence effect I'll make the ground darker just so you can all see it much nicer there that's better so make that 100% and start cycling through the thicknesses until we are satisfied with our rather attractive iridescent looking bubble it's rather a nice effect if very subtle of course but then bubbles are a little bit difficult to see if you've ever seen one in real life so that's pretty much 100% accurate Okay, uh, that covers all of the uh, mixing. If anybody has any questions, of course, feel free to ask. Um, I can make suggestions of different things that you could mix up. Okay.